Do you uh, think that Israel has the right to defend itself when that occurs? They're not defending themselves. They've been stealing people's land since 1946. Do you think that Israel has the right to defend itself in that situation? Um, well, Israel, uh, Gaza has been under siege for a really, really long time. And um, I feel that it is self-defense for them if they fire a few rockets. But Israel has been um, killing people uh, every day for, the, for a longer time than they have been um, firing back. So uh, I feel like Hamas actually has the right to defend itself. They do have the ability to get like missiles and to get a, and to get um, an army, whereas Palestine has limited access to these things. So it's kind of like a little person against a big person. So in that sense, it's not fair. These rockets don't actual don't actually have firepower. They're rockets. They are rockets. Yes, they have flight capa capability, but they don't have. They don't have firepower to the same extent as phosphorus bombs that are being dropped on Gaza every single day. The Palestinians based on Geneva Conventions have every right to defend themselves as an occupied nation. Do you think that Israel has the right to defend itself? That's not how it's framed. This is not the proper way to frame it. What's going on is there's been years of occupation and oppression on the part of Israel. Do you think that Israel has the right to defend itself? Uh, actually, uh, like uh, Israel has also been blocking essential. Israel has been blocking essential uh, medicines from entering Palestine. Has been blocking th st staples like chocolates. Has been uh, blocking things like uh, tools to repair the sewers that Israel bombed out in 2008. The United States and uh, Israel refused to send those vital things and other medicines into Gaza. So when we talk about like, th does Israel have the, the right to, to reply to a few firecrackers thrown at it? Do you support Israel's right to defend itself in that situation? Well, only, only in the sense that I, I, I suppose I, def, I uh, support the, the right of a, a, an adult to defend themselves when they're being attacked by a child with measures that are commensurate to the, uh, to the threat. Do you think that the Jewish people have a right to a homeland in Israel or in the Middle East? I don't want to answer. Sorry. Sorry? So can you maybe ask someone else? Israel to me should be gone and instead of it a democratic Palestinian state where Jews, Christians, Muslims and others could live in peace. Since you're protesting against war crimes for justice uh, during the Syrian aggression that's been going on for the past so few months, uh, have you protested that at all? I haven't. I wasn't really into it. During the, the uh, conflict in Syria that's been happening over the past few months, uh, have you protested that at all? Yeah, I have protested against the mercenaries organized by Britain, by United States and other Arab kingdoms who are uh, infiltrating C Syria in order to destabilize it. So has the Ontario Coalition Against Poverty done anything um, to combat the aggression that's been happening in Syria? Has there been any protests outside of the Syrian consulate for the aggression against its own people? Uh, no, but uh, we have, we, as, I mean, well, it's a lot more complicated than it's being presented in the news. Do you think that Hamas should be a terrorist organization as it currently is classified? Well, Hamas is about as much a terrorist organization as the government of Israel, in my opinion. The government of Gaza, Hamas, is classified as a terrorist organization. Do you think that Hamas is a terrorist organization? Um... Uh, as much, I mean, I, I condone all organizations that, that conduct violence against citizens. As much as we look at Hamas launching firecrackers into Israel, or Israel launching its F-16s uh, into Gaza and using phosphorus bombs and the most advanced weaponry, the fact that Hamas is building like pipe bombs in basements with like the tools found at the, at the hardware store. Do you think that Hamas is a terrorist group? I I'm indifferent. You know what? I have to admit that I, I I don't like any particular religion at all. So I don't like religious organizations. Oh, no.